All right. I have a truly terrifying concept for you. Uh, okay. All right. Are what you afraid of the dark? Um, not, not very. Why? As in the TV show, Are You Afraid oh, of yeah, the Dark? Oh, yeah. That's a great show. Okay. This has nothing to do with that. Okay. Um, what was that, that band that did Sex and Candy? Oh, my God. Uh, uh, I hate that I have to look this up, but I have to. Uh, Marcy's Marcy Playground. Marcy Playground, yeah. yeah. All right. Here's a truly terrifying concept. Mm-hmm. Somewhere, you know, in, in the belief that there are multiple timelines and anything is possible within infinite number of timelines. Okay. There is a universe that exists where we are the members of Marcy Playground. We formed Marcy Playground? Yeah, and, and now it's 2014, and, and, and we have to live with the knowledge that we were in Marcy Playground. Well, there's, there's much worse things that you could be known as. I mean, Sex and Candy was a catchy song. It might be, you know, uh, looking at it here, 17 years old, but, yeah, you know, yeah. It's a, it was a good song. I could still listen to it. Yeah, but what about all the other songs? Uh, as I try and find another MRC <laughs> Exactly. Song. Uh, wait a minute. They did have other ones. Apparently, they had a song at the same on the same album called "Poppies" that was a single, and another one the following year called "Saint Joe on the School Bus." I don't think I've ever heard either of those. Their next single was "Sherry Fraser," followed by "Wave Motion Gun." It's Saturday. By B- I haven't heard one of these, and then they skipped five years to "Deadly Handsome Man" in two thousand four. Huh. I wonder Wait, they they made music in 2004? Yeah, you know, you find out about that every so often. That some bands are still around. Yeah, they actually their latest album came out in 2012. All right, I I redact that and I present to you that there is also an equally possible universe where we are the members of Nickelback. Oh god, shut up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to make me vomit? Yeah. Yeah, All yeah. my bow tie pasta. I will say that while they have sucked for at least 14 years, as far as I'm aware, uh, some of the stuff that they made recently I kind of like. Don't you better not be recording this and putting this out there because you're, you're going to ruin our rep. <laughs> no, I'm. I'll, oh I'll yeah, go, you know, I'll go on I record. I like that, that recent song, the one that. <laughs> Yeah, that one. <laughs> and with a bit of a rock sound behind it. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you know, you know the one I'm talking about. Never again. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, like the uh, the first 14 years of their career was I ain't my dad, and then after that they're like, you know what? Let's just make party songs. That's all they do. That's a uh, drinking. Dad <laughs> sucks. Um. <laughs> You know, uh, defending a woman. NASCAR, I'm sure, is somewhere in there. Uh, the only song of theirs I could tolerate was the one that was the theme song for Monday Night Raw for a couple of years. And not watching Monday Night Raw, I have no He's idea scored. what that is. Oh, you really should catch up. Can They're you sing on... it for me? No. Can what... you can you reenact an entire episode of Monday Night Raw for me? <laughs> um. Gosh, you know, they, there's been so many episodes. I would really, I'd have to catch you up. I can't just jump in without context. That sounds oh. like a uh, a writing flaw on, my, on, on their I part. No, no, you can, but it means so much more if you know the history behind everyone. Uh, I, I, I see. That's I would love to do a podcast that was just you you watch raw and then have to discuss it. With <laughs> I'd do that, sure. All right, I do have. Uh, You'd have to edit the head of the. I would. I would. That would be worth it. Every once in a while, because it is a three-hour show. Or you could just explain the uh, the highlights to me and try to make me understand. Okay. 
I would do that. Yeah, because I don't own a TV, so I don't know how I would, how I would watch wrestling. Well, I mean, I, I own a TV, network. but it's my computer monitor. WWE Network. Yeah? Which is like a Netflix-type service that you watch on your computer. Yeah. Or console device. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, literally? Every pay-per-view ever is on there. So you could actually start with WrestleMania 1, and then go to WrestleMania 2, and then go to Survivor Series 1987. And then, go, you know, and then eventually there's four pay-per-views a year. So then you got SummerSlam, and then you also have Royal Rumble thrown in there. But then they moved up to five with King of the Ring in 1993. And then eventually it just became 12 or 13 a year. You know, I actually met some wrestlers in my day. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember who they are. One of them was, um, this is the guy with the white hair. He, his, his face looks like a dried up um, uh, avocado. Yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I met him. He was in my uh, he was in my office one day. Yeah, he's uh, he's got quite the reputation. He's a fun one to listen to. He was um, he he was in my he was in my conference room in Afghanistan, and I was trying to get around all the people who were crowding around people who were famous, so I had no idea who they were. Right. And uh, and I was just trying to get a call ready that was supposed to be taking place, um, you know, a conference call, I was doing a, a video teleconference. A video teleconference. Wow. High-tech stuff, man. And, and anyways, uh, so, um, the, uh, the white hair guy, who was it? Was the nature boy Ric Flair. Right. Ric Flair, uh, I, I think he was having the same idea that I had because he was trying to take a step back and, uh, hang out towards the back side of the room as was I and uh, and we had a, a brief conversation about how, how crazy it was inside the, the office and at the end of it did he go woo <laughs> no he did he did not do that oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. I, like and, to, I like to imagine that's how he ended every conversation and uh, they were just kind of like dressed normal so I actually thought that one of them was actually just a firefighter and Wait, like, so there were other wrestlers there? Yeah, there was a bunch of them. You don't remember think, any of them? Um, no, I don't. Can you describe them to me? Yeah, they were big, uh, muscular. That sounds like Andrew Test Martin. One of them had a volunteer firefighter's shirt on. Uh, okay. Which is why I, thought, why, why I thought he was a firefighter. And I'm like, why does sounds everybody care funny. about this firefighter? What year was this? Uh, 2006. You sure one of them wasn't John Cena? It very well could have been. It was he. He looked very Cena-esque, but I didn't know who John Cena was at the time. Yeah, he was. He was on the way up at the time. Yeah, like I think he was around, but like he was. He, you know, he didn't do all those great. Those movies. were early days for him. Like he didn't do. Uh, what's that movie that he was in? It was like Nine Bullets. Twelve rounds. Twelve rounds. That's one. It was more like rounds, like a boxing match, but I got you. Oh, I I didn't know what the fuck it was about, but he's pretty good in it. I only watched half the movie because I, yeah. I had to like. I do also else. watched half the movie, and I I thought it was. Did you ever see? He the was Marine? all right. <laughs> Did you ever see the Marine? <sighs> no, but I, I bought it as like a joke. Yeah. And I put it on, and I it was one of the best times I had watching an action movie in a long time. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, um, I was I was told that I should watch it because everything explodes. It does. It's constant ex constant explosions when it doesn't need to happen. Like he throws somebody through a table and like sparks fly off of the table, like a wooden table. I don't know about that. I have to watch <laughs> it again, but it's totally possible. There's one great part of that that I like that you can only get in like a like because it was like just a low budget at like easy to make action movie that you can only get in a movie that's flying under the radar. Where there's one character, one of the there's like the guys who are after him, who work for the main bad guy, who are kind of like slightly comic relief. There's the one of the two is the black guy who has this thing against rock candy, and it keeps coming up that he has this uh, fear of rock candy, <laughs> but it never really gets explained. It's just like he's like somebody says something, he's like I hate that, and rock candy. <laughs> it's <just> like that's <laughs> fucking awesome, man. You know what? You're right. You, you totally talked me into it. You gotta watch. I'm it. gonna I'm gonna watch the Marine. I still have to watch the Marine two and three. So there's more. 
Yeah, well, I mean, those went straight to video. Uh, Ted DiBiase Jr. was in the second one. And uh, The Miz, Mike Mizzenin, was in the number three. And is coming back for number four, so I guess he did a good job. I mean, that's the thing about WWE. Like, they make movies all the time. They do, and they've only recently started turning a profit, so I think they're going to actually start... Like, they did that movie Oculus that just came out, uh, which is a horror movie, and it's in theaters, and did kind of good, and because it was a low-budget thing. Yeah, I think I've heard of that. So that one did all right. And then they also did one called... um, uh, something called The Call, I think, with Halle Berry last year that actually did pretty well, where she played a call center employee who gets dragged into a 911 call that she ends up um, like having to help out with. And then she throws somebody through a table? Yeah, sparks everywhere. Yeah. You know, I uh, I wasn't intending this to be the uh, beginning of the of the, of the the episode. You know, but, I, you know, I kind of like it, though. Honestly, though, you know what this is? This is like the warm-up, because this is like... Uh, I noticed when I... Um, was around for certain uh, podcast recordings with a friend of ours. Uh, I noticed that they purposely start with a lot of banter like this just to get the conversation flowing and then got into recording. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I did the same thing with my uh, short-lived podcast. Yeah. And actually, the entire thing was just banter. That, that didn't have any focus. <laughs> well, that's all right. It, I mean, honestly, I think you should bring that back. But, you know. I, you know what? That thing I'll bring back um, as it calls for it. Like, I won't. I won't. I don't really want to be too like a schedule for it, but you know, right. whenever the the, uh, the 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 feeling strikes me. As of right now, this is the podcast you do. Yeah, you know, once a month, Snake Fist is the one, which I couldn't. It feels like it's been two months to me. It has it has been two months. Uh, really? Because, okay. Yeah, like last month, there was just too much going on, and I honestly didn't fucking. I forgot. Like it. I you forgot. forgot. <laughs> I really but thought I was that reminds you anyway. Like. Yeah, I don't even think you have a concept of time. Like you don't even know what what days of the week are anymore. You just know that yeah. um, premiere is where you live. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be getting a real job again soon. <laughs> I, I really am. It's gonna be really weird yeah. returning to the world. You were talking about that before. Yeah. Uh, not not in not in this recording or any other one, but uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's probably it, you'll probably feel pretty good to be. I think so. I'm trying to. I'm seeing what, seeing what I can do, but at the same time, still writing stuff to try and sell, and then hopefully get to go back to the dream job of not having to work a normal schedule. Right. Yeah. But then, then again, who knows? Maybe uh, you'll get back into uh, having a normal schedule and be like, you know, what? I like doing things during the day now. Yeah, fuck films. That's done. <laughs> no, I'm don't, gonna don't be a work say a day that. Joe. Oh, I'm gonna be a work a day no. Joe. Oh. In fact, that's my new name and my new uh, YouTube channel, Work Day Joe. That's not a bad idea, actually. That's actually a really great idea for a character and a channel. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? We uh, in the last two months we've had a shitload of comments. A shitload. Yeah, like a metric fuck ton. That's um, but I'm not going to address uh, like 99% of them. Okay. Ex- <laughs> why? Well, because there's too many, and some of them suck a lot, to be honest. Uh, but there's some good ones, and you know what? I picked, um, I, I tried to pick a lot of the top-rated comments. Like, I picked one from each video, and uh, and I tried to go with top-rated comments until I had started noticing that there was one person that seemed to be dominating the top-rated comments section. Really? A villain. What? Yeah, what? How would you how would you say this person's name? Um. Well, let's just say that I've never been able to pronounce it. Gotcha. And he uh, he is the worst. He is he's worse than Hitler. <laughs> really? And, and the fans of Snake Fist Explosion need to rise up against him and take oh. back the spotlight for themselves. Are you sure he's not just a fan with a quirky sense of humor? I don't think so. I think he's he's out to get us. I think he's trying to uh, he's trying to to, to, uh, to bring us to an end. All of us. Everybody who watches our videos, he wants to exterminate. I'm positive of it. But anyways, on uh, okay. Double Dragon, the, f- oh. the last episode, are we winning yet? Yes. And uh, 
we, we, we posed the question if people wanted to see it, and actually a lot of people said yes, but I can't be bothered to go back and play it again. <laughs> well, I was actually going to say maybe we should just because we started something, we should finish it. That's a terrible reason. It wasn't a bad game. It was kind of it was fun in the midst of it. It was a bad series, though. Maybe it. Well, you know what? It had its moments, like the time you almost got, or the time you were yelling at me to get away from the door when you were the closest <laughs> to the door, when we were getting yeah. sucked out of the spaceship. Like that was funny. Maybe a more condensed. Uh, I mean, it's thing. it's a it's a long play. I mean, that's just it, it is. It's it it's slow pace is why I, I think I didn't like it that much. They walk so slow. They well, even run slow. True. It takes them forever to get up to full speed. They're like, ugh, just lumbering. Game needs a turbo mode. Anyways, uh, on that on that video, Helgen35, he says that he loves the soundtrack of this game. And yeah. how did he... Uh, yes, it, he's posing a question to himself. How did I miss that before? And yes, I am more than old enough to enjoy an 80s power rock the first time around. <laughs> It's Out great. of interest. <laughs> and and you can find... All you gotta do is type in Double Dragon Neon Soundtrack. The whole thing is online for free on Bandcamp. He also asks if at 39, if he is our oldest fanboy. And I don't think he is. Mm. I think I think we have older fans. I think we might. I think we, we at least have one older member. Yeah, uh, James McDonough. He's, uh, he claims to be like 43... I, I don't you know, believe it though. He says that, but he's got such a youthful energy about him. I can't, I can't imagine it. Yeah, and boyish, boyish good looks and charm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think, uh, I think we've caught him. I, th I, I think, think he's, he's a him. big fat liar. Is what I think. Uh, also, I think uh, uh, our very own uh, ambassador to the fans, Tragic Lestat, might be uh, older than thirty-nine. Maybe. Who knows? Nobody Who knows, knows anything about, about Tragic. What, we, you know. I still want to know what he does for a living, but we'll never you find. You won't tell us. I feel like I'd almost be let down if I knew. I'm pretty sure he's a male prostitute. Yeah, we've come to that conclusion. Okay, on uh, real big douches, Chorionic Mage. The um, is this is the Chor? Yeah, this is Chor Three Onicles. Oh, the third. Chor Three Onicles. Yes. Yeah, the uh, the third. Of the Chorionical series. Wow. Justin Mendinger says, Odd, unwarranted, questionably sexual grunts. Russ, he's quoting you. Can you repeat that? And he, uh, to you, he says, Really, Russ? Is this what you want to do with your life? Tell kids to repeat sexually noises to you? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I'm a pervert. Yeah. I am a, uh, a pederast pervert. He, yeah, and that's 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 what gets you off is to have yeah. twelve year old boys. I can't even joke about that. What a fucking ass! What an asshole! Of course what I don't give a, Of course I don't want that to happen. Yeah, what a, what a character! That. I you know I try to make a brief aside, a goof. Yeah, yeah that's what blows up in your face. Blows up in my face. Now I'm now I'm going to jail. Yeah, this is basically. Um, uh, who's the guy that plays Kramer on Seinfeld? It's right. basically exactly like what he did when he dropped all those M bombs. I know, I'm awful. Your career's over. That's that's it. You're done. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Space Engineers, let's play the very first one. Space Grinders. Yes. The beginning of a beautiful thing that I love dearly, like my own child. I, I really am liking that series. I don't I don't care what anybody else says. It is fun. I, I, I like it, too. I did. Uh, it took me a little time to watch some of them just because, you know, I was drunk that night, and it's really kind of embarrassing, and I look like an asshole throughout a lot of it. But the what whole time, asshole. I remember at the time being drunk and just thinking, like, nah, I'm just going to start uh, grinding shit, and he's not going to know, and then he's going to find out later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you being an asshole brought a, a, lot, to the, uh, a lot to that Let's Play. I figured it would yeah. be funny. Helgen35 again. He says, in space, no one can hear me eat popcorn. And I disagree. I think everyone can hear me eat popcorn, and they're all disturbed by it, and they're wishing that space wasn't full of the noises of him eating popcorn, because it's kind of gross. Right. Yeah, yeah totally. So, mm -hmm. Makes perfect sense. You're wrong, Helgen. You're wrong. 
You think you think you think they can't hear you, but they can. Oh, EverQuest, the uh, tutorial I did for how to stake your claim. I did this right. on a whim on a on a Sunday. It wasn't even like one of our regular uploads. I uh, I was playing this game, couldn't fucking figure out how to stake a claim, and then I realized that anybody who had figured it out before me hasn't shared that information with anybody else who was still trying to figure it out. So, made this video, and. Uh, one guy, because I posted on a forum, Jack H forty five. I don't know if he subscribed or not, but if if he did and he sees this, he's gonna see his name, because uh, he said very helpful. I had no clue, just like you. Cheers, mate. Because he's probably from uh, the UK. I I'm imagine. glad that somebody benefited. Yeah, and there was actually a couple people that um that that uh that said that it helped him out mostly on the forum. Um, I don't think they made it as far as to uh look at the, uh, you know, the YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Like, they should, you know, but whatever. <laughs> right. Uh, but, you know, it, it wasn't really for our subscribers, um, which is clear to me here with another from that video from Justin Mendinger. says, Great to see this game on your channel. It's amazing. By the way, tutorials in general suck. Don't do one ever again. Just play the game normally. You know what? We never did another one. Yeah, you're right. So, I, you know, complain all you want about his comment, but apparently we listen. No, I, I refuse to give in to that. Well, then we better do another one quick. If, if, if I give in to that, Justin wins. All right, That's... so what? we need a tutorial then. Yeah, we need. I'm gonna do tutorials about everything. I'm gonna do tutorials about how to like unclog sinks, and how to like um, uh, uh, bake apple pie. What else? What else do people want to know? Um, I don't know <laughs> how to make how to come up with tutorial ideas because I'm fucking stuck. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption of snakes and fists. This one, this one is a, was a goodie. That really was. Yeah, I was very proud. I, I really love that one. <laughs> Justin Mendinger says, "Is this trolling or just bullying little kids?" All right. A lot of people said this to me, including my wife, who was like, "It just seems like you're picking on a kid now." Uh, and I, I had to say no. You know, I, I had cut it down to a length that worked for YouTube. There were things he did that made him seem like a little shithead. It wasn't just us picking on some nice kid. Yeah. He, uh, he, he was an ass at times himself, and so we were kind of fighting back. Yeah. Just, yeah, that's just a, didn't make the final cut. That's a good story. You should stick with that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's, that's your story, and you're sticking to it. It's the truth. Hey, so, uh, Space Engineers, again, uh, it's Morphin Time, Episode 2, Blue Knight Productions, Danger and Russ, the two men whose tools make sparks in space, there's no oxygen to help make flames, yeah. Bad assery at its finest. Yeah, we're, we have, uh, super space powers, so we, we can do that. Yeah, there's a lot of things that don't happen in space that happen in that game. I, I feel like sparks from a, uh from a MIG welder would happen in space, though. How? Um... I don't know. Science? It seems like then you would just have sparks float away. No, because they, uh... because they dissipate. Maybe they... Hey, maybe they're very slight, but nothing like in that game. I don't know. I, I think... Sparks in space. Did you find anything? Check it anything yet oh uh, apparently there apparently there is a musical group named sparks and they did an album called in outer space well there you go there you have a blue knight productions <laughs> you're wrong wow sparks in space is totally a thing <laughs> i got i got i got no, in outer space super battle 9000 remember the big shootout in daisy yes where jib was the hero well was he the hero uh yeah Super Battle, wasn't that, uh, wait, which one was that? That was the one where you and, uh, James McDonough died. Right, with you hunting us, right? No, 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 no. The, when we went up against oh, that right. group of people. Yes, you're right, okay. 
Now I remember that. Uh, see, that's how long it's been. I feel like that was so long ago. <laughs> hey, uh, James Junbao posting from uh, his account, Jamboni. Yes, too. Golden Pigeon, Jamboni. It's, it's James Junbao, our uh, close personal UK friend. He says, Jib, what a hero. And bearded, too. Can he get any better? That is, uh, his, that is a dream, uh, dream man. He also adds, also, I've said how before how realistic the operations of this game are, except when you can instantly take off your trousers off without having to stop running. So real. Um, I, I do that all the time. I, I just like to think of all the pants in the game as snap pants. Yeah. Oh, man. That's that's the best thing ever. Like, uh, I have, had some. Have you ever ran full bore and had all the, all the snaps rip off? Uh, no. Have you? Yeah. I mean, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident, but it's always fun. It's one of the saddest things I've ever heard. Why? That's amazing. Why does nobody wear snap pants anymore? Yeah, they must have went out of style or something. Along yes. with windbreakers. I used to wear them to gym class in high school. Uh, from, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No, it's great. That's an excellent transition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flawless. Essence, the official series channel. Which, actually, I've seen a couple things from him. I don't know what Essence, the yeah, official that's... series channel is. I should probably click on it and see what the hell that means. I know that. I've yeah. seen that. Maybe just from seeing it on the board, but... It I pops up from time to time. I think it comes up in your live stream. That's on Tuesday at 8 o'clock Eastern ah, Time. Ah, maybe that's it. <laughs> <laughs> on Hey Killer Films. <laughs> he says, hey, I am looking Film. forward to seeing all of you guys on Titanfall. Uh, can't say it's gonna happen. And I own Titanfall. Yeah, you also own an Xbox One. Yeah. Which uh, none, no one else does. Well, Tuck does. Yeah, but is and Tuck he... gonna want to do videos? Uh, maybe. With his group of friends. <laughs> with hoot. other people. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, he's always telling me how funny they are. Well, look, if uh, if you find an opportunity to make a video with Titanfall, I say go well, for it. But it's not one of those games that we would probably make a video about because it's kind of linear, you know. It, I just yeah, it, I don't see where like because we tend to make things that you know at least the Tuesday or you know, midweek videos I should say tend to be more uh, you know like short film they tell a story and, you know we can use you know the, the the games we use like gta and daisy are really good for that but like that new game that just came out uh watchdogs seems like it would be wonderful to do something with but it doesn't really have anything like to you like there's no like mode that we can make something good out of i wish there was because it's an awesome game oh you know what i fucked up <laughs> that was from walt jr <laughs> the, third, the third in that series. I don't know how I got so messed up on that one. So yeah, from <laughs> Hey, Walt Jr. Yeah, the uh, third episode. Remember, because because you you do a an, an, uh, spot on Walt Jr. impression. I uh, oh man, it's been so long. I'd have to work up to it again. Okay, uh, I'll give you your motivation. O okay, it's morning. Breakfast is on. What? The, breakfast we, is on the on the stove. When are we gonna have breakfast? Like that's right. ah, no man. Your, par I, I, your parents are arguing. They're they're, geez, they're yelling at each stop. other. Stop! And uh, did you watch Breaking Bad? And and mom mom storms storms out of the house because she's pissed off at Walter White. And then I don't uh, understand. <laughs> that's, everything about that character is just he has no idea what's happening. Then Walter White throws the pan in the garbage and then walks out of the house as well. Yeah, I, I I gotta work up to me. I gotta like watch more clips. I, I don't I, have it anymore. I I was building you up for a perfect. This is bullshit. Nathan. All right, keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, it's done. It's done. There's All no right? perfect anything. I don't have the voice anymore. It's gone. You did great. I thought I thought it was fantastic. I couldn't tell the difference. I'm yeah. You sounded like you had whatever he has. <laughs> I'm watching a video on YouTube called Walt Jr. Eats Breakfast. All right. How does that make you feel? Well, uh, in a second, it might make me feel something. Well, hang on. Go on. All right, I'm waiting. Waiting for him to say a line. All right. I can't wait. All 
Um, breakfast. <laughs> That's a line. That's the line. In the <laughs> you nailed it. All right. <laughs> Dangerous cool jacket. Yes. You remember? You remember oh, Dangerous I love cool that. jacket? It's it really is the best jacket. Hey. Hey. Uh, X three arc X asks the question: Would you ever consider playing with us? Question mark in the middle. Of uh, space like give us the IP to the server you are playing on did you say and consider? consider yeah okay <laughs> uh, and you know what he can play with us whenever he wants if he can find the server that we're playing on because chances are we don't even know because if if you've played Daisy recently you know that all you do is just jump servers because servers just reset like every two minutes and you'll 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 finally like find something that you want to pick up and then all of a sudden it's like red link and it's like fuck you bye and now you gotta go find a new server yeah i hate it it's very hard very it's a lot of work to find a good server these days but if we can we like to play on a server called buttholes and prostitutes yeah buttholes and prostitutes is a good one yeah I, I highly recommend it. The hospital standoff. I ah, yes. see. The uh, the one where I definitely wasn't around, and uh, you you got into something with somebody, and something so happened. You were, yeah. You were on the south side the whole time. Yeah, I was uh, checking out a town pretty close by. Ricardo Reyes. Haven't seen his name in a while. Actually, he comes back to drop some awesome comment bombs on us. He says, the genuine chills and surprise I got from this video are only comparable to the Hitchcock equivalent of gameplays. Which is the yeah. best comment I've ever read, I would it, say. And it's completely accurate. Yeah, totally. 100%. If, uh, if there's one thing he knows, it's how good we are. <laughs> yep. Space Canadians. Another good one. Yeah. In Space Engineers. Episode 5, Brian Murphy. I've been seeing his comments pop up, and uh, he always leaves pretty good comments, I gotta say. It's like watching... Oh, except for this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching all the non-dramatic trims left on the floor from 2001 A Space Odyssey. No, the exciting moments were the tin of cinnamon toast triscuits. Lol. <laughs> you know what? I don't hate that comment. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You, you had me fucking... Furious because it's like, you know, totally professional recording. Also, <laughs> it's like, I remember, I, bitch. I remember moving the pop filter out of the way so I could get right on the mic. Uh, <laughs> it seemed like a great idea at the time. Uh, sex education, another uh, Tori Onicles episode four. We need to, we need to crank out these ones like. Top top speed, because because uh, because people need to the, the world needs to know. Wait, which ones? Chorionicles. Oh oh yeah yeah yeah. The world the world deserves more. But Blue Knight Productions, he says today was a shitty day. Then I got on YouTube. We made his day with a Chorionicles episode. Yeah. About uh, Chorionic Mage, telling us all about how sex is done and how babies are made yeah i gotta say when we were playing i was being very i was very surprised at the turn that took it's it's kind of it's it's difficult because it's kind of like all right uh at what point can we get in trouble <laughs> yeah because i mean we don't instigate any of that stuff he does it all on his own like we we don't bring up topics we don't give him any jumping off points we just went with it yeah, like he he decides the direction we go in. Yeah, and we've talked to him since then. Like when when we were recording, like he didn't know who we were. He just randomly joined our 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 chat session, and uh, but since then we've been like, you know, you should probably uh, start a YouTube channel. <laughs> he really, God, he'd be huge. I know. I know, and but I don't think he got it because he kept on he kept on like, pa like making up this radio show called uh what was it like jordan and the gay boys 
Oh God, I don't even remember. But it, like, I have like it's been so long. Like vague recollection. But that's it. Yeah, and and we're like, no, no, we mean like a YouTube channel. Like you make videos, and then he just kept on doing like like radio skits. <laughs> I forgot about that. It was amazing. Oh my god. Uh, I don't even know what's left, like, from that one day. Like, again, all these, ep- the first four episodes have all been from the same day. And, uh, there's maybe, I think there's one left in that initial playthrough, but we've played with them a bunch of times since, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta admit, I feel kind of bad on GTA. I got, we haven't played it in a while. Uh, I know, it's been months. And you know who still does, who still keeps up everything is Tragical Stat. He, he's still in there. And I feel guilty. I'm like, I want to go in there and, and play some more, because he's in there, and it, we probably get some good stuff. It's just gotten kind of... The game got a little same old, same stale, old. Stale, yeah. But it's, it's pretty stale. Like we've, we've done a lot in there. We haven't done everything you can do, but we've done all the stuff that we wanted to do so far. Doesn't right. mean that we can't go back to it, but it does kind of mean that I don't have any motivation to go back to it. Right. Yeah. It, it, but... Apparently, heists are coming. Yeah. They said like, that in October as well. I know, but now apparently they're saying June should be the time. In fact, I'm going to take another look real quick to see if uh, anybody said anything else. All right. You know oh. what You know what else is coming? Yeah? H1 and... Or H1Z1. <laughs> I was going to say... H1N1! H1N1. <laughs> the avian flu. <laughs> it's <No>. coming. <laughs> We're all going to get bird flu. <laughs> No, H1Z1. Look it up. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's all uh, I've got to say about that. Cause, I, think uh, we're, I think we may just... That may become like Grand Theft Auto was for us. Yeah, it's I just know. like, yeah, hey, every video. I hope so. Like, I hope it's that good. Yeah, I really... We have high hopes. High hopes. Anyways, Space Engineers, the Canadian menace. Cracker 192. Who can I can only assume is one of those dirty Canadians that we hate so much. He says, "We hear you, and we are coming." <gasps> there. Are, I was gonna say you you sounded exactly like Torianic Mage for a second. <gasps> but uh, I I don't know how to feel about that. I think I would take that as a threat. Cracker one ninety two, I see your threat. And I'm ready. I'm ready for for whatever you have. Fucking Canadians are ready. Are they gonna fight us? Bring your hockey sticks. Grab grab your 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 richest maple syrup. Strap on your skates and 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 come down here. We'll uh, we'll battle it out on the border. Cause the thing is, if I if I throw a punch, you got to go through customs before before you can throw a punch back at me. So there. But you know what? He's got backup. From Team Geo. Team Geo says, We heard you. <gasps> now Wish it's now it's a <laughs> da, da, da. That's uh that's terrifying. Yeah, it is. The uh, the audio cue perfectly perfectly expressed how terrifying that was. And uh you know, I, I would come up to Canada to, to give you what for, but <laughs> Canada is, is such an unruly and violent place that I I dare not go. Just filled with brutal savages, the, the Canadian wilderness is. You don't have ten minutes to go to Canada. I know. And you know what? They print animals on their money, and that is just barbaric. And British royalty. I know, and we you already know how we feel about the bridge. Yeah. We're... CE 1776. Yeah. What can I say? What can I say? We, we uh, you know, we're our own people. We don't have to use somebody else's royalty. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, bring play... it, Canada. Uh, yeah? Huh? Yeah. What? I said bring it, Canada. Yeah. Yeah, let's throw rocks at Canada. I mean, Space Canada? Yeah, Space Canada. Hey, Planet Side 2. My, uh, my sick dubstep pistol massacre. Yes. Uh, I'm fairly proud of this one myself. Posted on Reddit today. Nobody gave a shit. <laughs> of course. Of course. 
Uh, try Twitter. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. But uh, people should go and look for it on Twitter, because as of right now, we have three followers. One of them is myself. Uh, maybe we should actually. Well, we've never publicized it, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it's brand new. We just started it. Yeah. Before you go, start making assumptions. Uh, we just, just started the Twitter against all of the fiber in my being because I personally hate Twitter. But Russ is like, yeah, we should do Twitter. And I'm like, yes, sir. Yeah, that's the way. That's that's how this works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the assertive one. You're you're Pat's Pat Patty, not... and I'm the other one. Are you saying you're Marcy? I'm Marcy. Marcy's playground. And you're Peppermint Patty. That doesn't sound right at all. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it is. No. We'll let the people... Oh yeah, to be fair, Marcy really was the one in charge. She just let Patty spout off at the mouth most of the time. Yeah, Marcy did all the administration work. Right, exactly. She, she kept the ship running, really made all the decisions, while Patty just sort of flailed her arms around and got upset and yelled about things. Yeah. Actually, probably the uh, the best the um, the best symbol we we have in pop culture to represent our president. Any president, actually, not just the current one. But uh, you mean it, the general title of president? Yes, U.S. president is Peppermint Patty. Okay. Peppermint Patty for president, and Marcy is Secretary of State. All right. Yep. Survivalist says, "Danger! Make a dangerous montage of you doing dangerous, dangerous stunts in GTA, and maybe that's what we could do with Tragic." Yeah, we do have to get back in there. May as well. Yeah, might as well do dangerous, dangerous stunts. Oh shit! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what what happened? What? What was all that? What? All that noise? Nothing. Right. The medical bay debacle. You remember the medical de bay debacle? Very well. Well, I have an exchange from James Junbao and the Phantom Monk. Okay. James says, Arg Russ, at 10 minutes and 34 seconds, which okay. is when I assume you destroyed the medical bay. Or at least when I discovered it had been destroyed. <laughs> The Phantom Monk says, yeah, I know, and he was drilling it. <laughs> <laughs> no James man, says, yeah. I thought he was jackhammering into it. He jacked into it hard and made it all dirty. <laughs> it was dirty when I got there. Uh, he, he sure did. Did you, did you jackhammer it? I did all kinds of things to it. <laughs> Wait, you, wait, wait, which thing? What? Wait, what are you talking about? What? What did I jackhammer? What are you asking if I jackhammer? The medical bay. No, 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 no. That's not what he's talking about. What is he talking about? He's talking about, did you, you saw the timestamp on his comment, right? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know when that was. He, it was right as I said, as I said that the big, like, because we were drilling into what I think was iron in the middle of an asteroid, and it was like, I said, oh, it looks like a big dirty butthole. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's way funnier. Yes, that makes a lot more sense. I thought he was speaking of the time when you defiled the medical bay. No, I did. I used a grinder for that. I'm no, I'm no uh, amateur. You're not, you're not an animal. Yeah. Supermarket Showdown. I uh, gotta say, I, I enjoyed this one, despite the fact that I wasn't in it. You were, briefly. You had a, uh, what I would call, uh, a cameo. Yeah. You know what I really liked about this one is that you you stepped up as the uh, as the combat expert. I surprised even myself. I know you uh, you flanked that guy all by yourself instead of just rushing in like most people would. Got to admit, I might have just rushed in and, and tried to shoot him in the face. Well, I was uh, at first I didn't see where he was right away, and then when I did, I kind of ran to the side. And when he started to come at me, I knew I only had one bullet left. So I fired that off just out of the hope that please think that I have a lot of ammo. Yeah. And so, luckily that's what worked. I think that's what saved me, was firing off that one shot and him thinking he shouldn't just stick his head out. Although if he had, I would have been dead. Because yeah. I had to do that snap loader 
reloading two bullets thing, but... And, and I shot him right as he started firing on Michael, so I got lucky I saved him, too. Yeah, and, you know, I, I think... Uh, I think having having a gun like that kind of makes you a better tactician because if I had an M4 with a 60 round mag I just would have charged in blindly firing at him I probably would have killed him but it wouldn't it wouldn't have been very efficient but when you have when you know that you've only got like one bullet left <laughs> you like yeah. you make that bullet count yeah, I, I really was like, aim, fire, make sure this is going to hit him, and I got him right in the that back was, of the head. That was a right. genius headshot. Yeah, <laughs> I was very proud of that one. Yeah. Uh, on on uh, Supermarket Showdown and DayZ, Justin Men... Yeah, that guy says, I'll say it again. Not that I need to, though. If you just listen to the audio, you guys sound like Daisy retards. It's so funny. Respect. Now this is this is this is why he is the dictator of the of the comment section. Uh-huh. See, because he can diffuse any negative comment that he gives us with just by saying "just kidding" or "respect" or "love your videos" even though you suck. I'm just saying. That kind of reaction. And you know what? Our, uh, if if you leave comments in the comments section, don't 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 let this guy be the dictator of the top rated comment. It's it's all up to you to, to make your stand and to uh, and to be heard. I mean, just look at it. He's he's got Theodore Roosevelt as his as his uh, as his icon. Does he? The uh, yeah, history's greatest criminal, Theodore Roosevelt. What? What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure he's on the, uh, on, on the, uh, you know, that big, that big rock, you know. Yeah, you know the one on, I'm talking uh, about. Yeah. Not Rushmore. I'm Rushmore. That guy. He's one of the most badass presidents we had. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the great dictator, Theodore Roosevelt. Wait a minute. <laughs> But, I do not support this at all. But I had a ringer. <laughs> but I had a ringer at the very last second, ten minutes before we recorded this. It even says ten minutes ago edited. Chinzo Man Films. We haven't seen a comment from him in months. Ah, uh, Chinzo Man. He's back, and he's back to take the spotlight as the number one commenter. Right. He says, I've been so busy, I haven't been able to keep up with your videos. Vid vidya, vid Whoa, what happened vidyas, to your voice? Vidyas. 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 Nice to be back. Great work, and it's awesome that the Dangerous Brew is in there now. Or for the time being. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he knows uh, He knows Michael Green. He's a, a, a fan of the Dangerous Brew. As he should be. Yeah. What uh? What does the Dangerous Brew do? They do short films and, and such. They you know they Michael Green is a, he he's out in L.A. now. He does a lot of video work and they do short films on that on the Dangerous Brew and they are quite good. Do you have one that you would recommend? Uh, let me see what it's called. Let me because I can pull up the channel right here. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, yeah. You just wait for me. I'll, uh, I'll be waiting okay. patiently, of course. Mm -hmm. No no pressure at all. Um, I'll just be waiting right here. Just yeah, doing... done really well on some of these. Well, uh, Skyrim Journey's End was a big one for them. Skyrim like Journey's that. End. Go watch that. Yeah, go watch that one. Yeah, it's good. Have you, you? They're they're really good. You should check them out. I will. I don't think I've seen reals. it. I don't. I don't think I'm subscribed to the Dangerous Brew. But you know what? I feel like I should go and at least check out the uh, their videos, at least the one, and I will judge them based on that video that you suggested. Yeah. And then uh, if I feel that that video is to my liking, I will hit the subscribe button for them. Oh boy, a lot of pressure. 
And also, uh, Blink Farm. Go check out Blink Farm, because he's, he's been in a bunch of our videos, too. Even I uh, edited one of them, which was the uh, Super Battle, I believe. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to even bring that up. He he did the whole damn thing. Super Battle 9... Th Wait, no. Was... No, no, I, I did Super Battle. Oh, okay. He did Danger's Cool Jacket. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Which uh, kind of, like, changed everything, because he did this weird jumping back and forth thing. It wasn't all linear. And it worked so well. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Still is. Still is yes. amazing. I watch it every day. <laughs> Twice a day, even. And I click on all the ads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But only because they interest me not to help out anyway. Yes, and I would not uh, I would not suggest that other people do the same unless they felt that they that they wanted to. But yeah, that's all I got. Um, and to round out, to you know, to bring this this podcast full circle, I have acquired uh, youtubecom slash Joe. Because <laughs> you never know when you come up with a good YouTube idea when you're gonna do it, so you may as well have it around. <laughs> While while we were talking, right at the beginning, I literally just <laughs> ad channel did that available. You have so uh, explain workaday Joe. I work workaday Joe. You know, he's just a normal guy goes to work nine to five just to you know pay the bills and uh, you know you don't need much. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Best idea ever. Uh, what what kind of what kind of videos does workaday Joe make? Oh, you know, just like, uh, you know, videos about his day, like, uh, his customer. Or, uh, you know, that depends on what job he did that day. You know, he, he's got a lot of jobs. You know, he works some in retail. He, oh, this customer today, he came in and he just, you know, I told him to get it, get the hell out. Sounds sounds like he's good at his job. So, you know, hey, I stopped at the Wawa on the way to work and, you know, get, a, get my cup of coffee in the morning. And, uh, you know, some of these jerks, they just don't hold the door for you when you try and go out. It's, yeah, it's terrible. I know. That, that, you know that I'm just a work a day Joe. I'm just a work a day Joe. I don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if you can stay in that character, you could do an entire podcast like that. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the most annoying podcast ever. It would made. be. I would listen to it. It would be a. It would be a. a, a like say forty five minute long podcast about a guy who tells dad jokes in kind of a sort of fast-talking, kind of angry, but still trying to sound friendly kind of voice. <laughs> I know exactly whose stories I can base it on. I'm working this character out right as we speak. Yeah? I had, hey, you know, hey, uh, I had this old co-worker who uh, used to say shit that wasn't funny, uh, but he thought it was hysterical. Hey, I know, I know. I remember one time, or one, or one time, multiple times, where he would just say this one name. He'd go, hey, hey, uh, Joey Bag of Donuts. <laughs> I've heard that name before. You're just like, ugh. But that's the kind of guy that Workaday Joe would be. See, and, like, the Joey Bag of Donuts thing, like, that's a that's a common that's a common I name. Know. I know, but it's awful. So it's not even original. No, that's the thing. He's not a yeah. comedian. Like, he's, he's totally <laughs> unoriginal. Yeah, but he thinks he's he's hilarious. He thinks he's hysterical. Hell, I've got an uncle like that. Oh boy. <laughs> well, call him up, get him on the phone, talk to him for a while, and just record what he says. He's, and then we'll make something out of it. He's he's not interesting. Not he's not interesting like Workaday Joe. All right. No, well, he's, he's he's very agenda driven and opinionated. <laughs> uh, is is uh, Workaday Joe um, opinionated and agenda driven? Oh yeah, yeah! Don't get me started. Get me started. Get me started on these clowns in Washington. How does Workaday Joe feel about the liberals? Ah, uh, you know the liberals. Hey, you know you're liberal, you're conservative. I don't. I, none of them get anything done. <laughs> I like them. See you, bro. Red. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm in the middle. I'm voting yellow. I don't got nothing. I don't have enough money. For, I don't have enough money for the politicians. Who aren't doing anything for me. I'm just a Workaday Joe. Oh wait, I do have I do have something before we go. Okay. Our our upcoming videos. All right, Randy Watson. <laughs> Randy Watson. Our adventures in uh, in uh, fucking Gary's mod. Yeah, yeah. Where we uh, we may have disrupted the balance 
<laughs> of the game entirely. I, I feel like that one may end up being a multiple part one, just remembering how much happened. Yeah. But uh, we will see. Just remember, Fish McSticks for Mayor. Fish McSticks for Mayor. All right. I'll uh, talk to you next next month, Russ. Yep, see you in a month. Yep. Or maybe two. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Yeah, that, that, that has happened before. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.